Recently, gospel artist Lecrae said he attended P. Diddy's parties. Watch this. I've been to a couple Diddy parties. Now, I'm risking a lot by saying this because I know as soon as I say that, all, all the assumptions are going to come in and all the, and if I don't say evil things were taking place, then I'm covering for them. And if I do say evil things were taking place, then I'm one of them ones like, yeah, Lecrae, expose it, expose it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to lots of parties. I've been to Jamie Foxx. I've been with Snoop, T.I. Like, I've been to lots of places. Um, here's what I'll say. There are people who will test you. There are people who will see how far your limits are. And if you're willing to take a step, then they'll take two. To no one's surprise, P. Diddy has wild parties. So there's no excuse for someone who claims to be a gospel artist or a follower of the Most High to participate at P. Diddy's parties. So my question is, why are you there? If you're not there to minister, you shouldn't be there at all. You need to read the scriptures because it's clear that the scriptures prohibit believers from partaking in wild parties. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 21, it mentions reveling with the host of other names. But in this video, we're going to focus on the word revelings. This word means to participate in wild parties. And notice it says, they that which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. However, this is not a mistake. This is treated as a norm right now. And it's at the point where bishops, leaders of the church, they go on social media dancing with the world before baby believers. And I'm talking about people already struggling with the acts, in other words, that takes place at these wild parties. What in the world are you all doing? You are causing so many people to fall. And the Bible says, let not your good be evil spoken of. It just gets me when people act like you're supposed to be silent. When you see people who call themselves a Christian associating themselves with P. Diddy, do you realize the Bible even says people are going to talk? That's why it says, let not your good be evil what? Spoken of. You can give people something good or bad to talk about. And these are issues that need to be addressed. Do you realize Paul addressed it? Peter addressed it. And throughout the Bible, this type of behavior was addressed. It wasn't called being relevant. It was called compromising. It was called not putting a difference between the clean and the unclean, the holy and the unholy. And right now on social media, people who were a part of PDD circle, they are calling out Christians in a bad way. In fact, around one year ago, P. Diddy's former bodyguard didn't only mention P. Diddy's name, but he also mentioned T.D. Jake's name. Listen to this. After he had that conversation with Mr. Zesty, I mean Mr. T.D. Jakes, all I know he's a bishop. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> no, Pastor, I ain't taking off my clothes. <laughs> we just gonna baptize you. Read between the lines. Because he wasn't referring to being literally baptized. See, this is a reproach. The world be knowing where they hang out when believers many times are unaware. Because they run with the world. So why would Lecrae all of a sudden admit that he attended P. Diddy's parties? Maybe something is about to be exposed. We are in the hour where the Almighty is exposing. Everything covered, he's uncovering. What's been done in the dark, he's bringing it to the light. And this is not an issue in regards to witnessing to the world. But when you compromise to be like the world, that's the problem. And we must realize there are people listening to people like Lecrae. And they mean well, but they just don't know better. So we have to get the truth to them. Because if not, they can easily be led astray. Brothers and sisters, watch and pray. God bless you.